Hi, I'm Judy Vitale, astrologer for ReadTheStars.com. This is your weekly horoscopes at work for April 20th through 26th, 2015. The sun will move into Taurus this week, so happy birthday, all you Taurus people. The strong, steady energy of this sign enables us to protect what we've already started for spring, just like the, the bull will pr be very protective of whatever is around it. And like we all have to be careful of the little seedlings and little sprouts that are coming out of the ground at this time. Think of your projects at work as your little sprouts. And what will you be doing to protect them as this next four week period unfolds? Um, that's about the biggest thing that's happening this week, so that's good. That means that the week will be fairly peaceful. It can be quite tricky though on Wednesday and then also on Friday afternoon because we're going to have the moon void of course, okay? And also on Monday, um, we have um, the moon void of course, as you may or may not know, is a time period when it's very difficult to accomplish what we've set out to do in the moment. And we must live for the moment during the moon void of course. For example, that meeting that you're going crazy preparing for it could get canceled. But if you wanna have something finished, if you wanna say get to the bottom of your inbox, or just you know, put the finishing touches on something, this is a good time for that. And it's also a good time to schedule those things that you feel like you have to schedule but you don't really have to do. So um, you can do that and take the chance that maybe the Void of Course Moon will work its magic and get the thing that you really don't want to do off your schedule completely. So on Monday, as I said, we have the Moon in Taurus, Void of Course, until 7.28 p.m., at which time it will go into Gemini. So communication wakes up on Tuesday. And also a little romance, if anybody is interested in that, on Tuesday, because the uh, moon will be in a conjunction with Venus and a square to Gemini. A word of warning, though. People can pour on the charm when Gemini is involved. So um, if you're just getting into a relationship, then you need to be careful and make sure that you let time test out how, how truthful the person is being on the other side or how truthful you're being on your side. If you're already in a relationship, it's a good time to sort of smooth things over. Do something like impulsive and romantic and keep your relationship alive. On Wednesday, as I said, we have the moon void, of course, at uh, 1.38 a.m. and it goes all day. So um, that means that we have to take things slowly, but there are some other things going on that are kind of exciting. We're going to have Mercury trying Pluto, and that's coming after the Mars trying Pluto on Tuesday. So there's going to be this impetus toward action and a feeling of being empowered, and especially verbally on Wednesday. And Venus will be in a sextile with Jupiter, creating good feelings and an expansion on those good feelings, and Mercury will be conjunct Mars. So I would say be careful of your words on Wednesday. You know how they tell little kids, use your words? Use your words judiciously and um, hold back, especially if you feel like you're about to burst into a rage. On Thursday, the moon goes into Cancer at 12... 25 a.m. So all day we'll have this feeling of uh, wanting to nurture ourselves and wanting to nurture others and wanting to be nurtured by others. And this can be very conducive to work at point at some point. So, um, you know, work with that energy, mother your projects, take care of people. Uh, there'll be a trine with Neptune. So again, um, with the moon trine Neptune, there's a little bit of romance in the air. So that can be nice. If the weather gets warmer. We're all starting to feel that way, I think some of us anyway, um, on Friday, the Cancer Moon goes void, of course, at 1.04 p.m., and it also will make a square to Uranus on uh, Friday. So not the best day for work again, not the best day for making a whole lot of plans, but you'll get through it. The weekend, on the other hand, looks really great, especially if you have some social things going on. Um, uh, the Moon will be into Leo on Saturday morning at 9.13 a.m., making a trine with Saturn and a square to the Sun. So um, I think that things will get organized, but there's also just like a little bit of a struggle of getting motivated. Just um, try to think about what a great time you're going to have, and you will. Sunday, Moon and Leo again, Venus in a sextile to Uranus. So if there's a special person in your life that you've been wanting to approach, whether it's a friend, a business associate, or a lover, this would be a good time to do it. You'll just say something really cute and clever and really get people's attention. So those are the highlights, folks. That's what's going on this coming week um, in terms of my schedule. I'll be at Journeys this Monday, the 20th, from 1 to 5 p.m. If you'd like to make an appointment, 
800-800-8755 is the number. You could stop in early on. I have an appointment late in the day already, I know. So um, if you want to come early on in that shift, that would be great. And then the next time I'll be there will be Thursday, April 30th from 1 to 5. And I anyhow, that's the horoscopes at work for now. And have a great week. I'm Judy Vitale. You can always reach me at Judy, J-U-D-I, at readthestars.com.